Hello everybody, uh, today guys, uh, since I have a free time, I try to put two, um, two videos today. Uh, this video guys, we're talking about how to have a great, great, amazing quality of red mosaics. So guys, for you to know, red mosaics, uh, the best quality is the, the male, it has to have a mask, the red mask on the face. So the mask has to cover 50% of his head uh front the the half the front uh in the half in the half in the front has to be completely red with no yellowish in it uh that's the standards uh for the wings it has to be like a, a, a red triangle on the wings and a triangle in the bottom on the back so that's the that's the great quality for the tail it has to be like an m um has to look like an m that's the best um, quality for red mosaics. Also, red mosaic smell has a little red uh, on the chest. So this is how you um, know it's your red mosaic is good or not. Um, to have a red mosaic not messed up, uh, you have to follow a couple things. Um, first of all, it starts from before breeding. So before breeding, the pair that you are breeding, you cannot give any veggies to the pair of red mosaic and you cannot give any yolk of the eggs. Uh, all food they have to, they, they need is the white food. Whatever thinks is white. So the mixed seed, there is a mixed seed that has a yellow uh, seeds in it, so avoid that. Uh, just give them uh, the normal mixed seeds. I have a video posted already about uh, seed mix. Uh, try to no yellow on the, on the seeds. Uh, for, for the, um, what they call it for the for the soft food soft food has to be white no veggies if you give them a peppers uh of if you give them um you can give cucumber once a month uh for red mosaics you cannot give um like something yellow or broccoli or green or anything like that because that's will mess up their color so for the soft food you can um give this so there is a mito bianco white so this is white so this is the white soft food you have and here there is the yellow soft food you have so this is yellow and this is the white one so the yellow one will mess up the color of your red mosaics so you feed two months before the breeding you feed your pair of red mosaics a white food uh, and if you want to give her eggs you can give her the white of the eggs boiled uh, and that's it so that way, um, the body will not have any yellow color. So when they lay eggs, those eggs are clean, neat, and the babies are pure. So when the egg, when the babies hatch, when the babies hatch, keep giving the same diet. Uh, do not introduce anything else. Um, you keep giving the diet for 45 days for the babies. At 45 days, canaries start molting start doing the molt changing the feathers uh, taking off the baby feathers and building the adult feathers so uh, after 45 days you can start uh, giving the red food uh, as you can see here what I do do not mix the yellow with red you use soft food like this or dry food like this, the white one. And you use this one right here, the carophyll. Just use the directions in here. This one here looks just like that. It's like a red powder that you add on this food right there. And then you make, you make this paste right here. So this one has real, has uh, the red pigment, as you can see. So this will help these babies to build the color. So that's the only way. For red factors, it's fine. You can give uh, color food all year long uh, if you want them. If you have, if you want them to be fully red. You can give them all, for, but for red mosaics or for agat mosaics, that's the best diet that you can guys follow. Um, uh, make sure, uh, make sure guys, you follow that at 45 days. Then we start 
uh, using fake eggs. Oh, uh, sorry. Then we start using uh, color food. Okay. I hope guys you like this video and thank you very much for watching and have a great day.